As we know, Ron DeSantis has decided to center anti wokeness in his campaign platform for the 2024 presidential election. And his latest campaign ad makes it clear that he plans to present himself as crueler or harsher than Trump when it comes to the culture wars. And he put out this insanely cringy, cringy ad that we're about to show you. Let's watch. I will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens. Congratulations, Ron DeSantis. Mission accomplished. You win. My favorite part of this ad is how they cut in all these like images of a Chad and like the muscle, muscly guys. Like, oh, DeSantis is such a tough guy. And as you can see, they also included a clip of Donald Trump, a clip of Jenk Uger in this montage of them attacking Donald Trump for being too soft on the LGBT community. So we'll tell you the context of the clip that they used Jenk in in just a moment. But before we do. Go ahead, Jenkins. Yeah, so look, I want to talk about the mask hearing guys and how over the top it is. I also want to talk and how they don't really understand MAGA and they did the ad wrong. I also want to talk about how over the top anti gay Ron DeSantis is now, total utter hate monger that he is. But we've got to show you the clip that they took that portion in his ad from. If you see the whole context, it's a lot different. Let's watch. And by the way, don't get me wrong. DeSantis wants us to do this story because he wants everybody in the country to know he's the guy who banned teaching African American studies in Florida. He wants us to complain about it. So you go, hey, see that? I own the libs. I hate black people more than anybody else does. That's the whole point of this story. Congratulations, Ron DeSantis. Mission accomplished. You win. You hate black people more than other Republicans do. Congratulations. You must be so proud. Hmm, that's a little bit different, right? When you see it in its full context. So Ron DeSantis put in uh, my clip in his ad where I, if you saw the whole clip, say, congratulations, you win. You hate black people more than even other Republicans. And apparently they're so proud of that that they put it in an ad. And that makes sense because the ad's about hating gay people. Republican Party, hate, 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 hate. So they've decided, hey, you know what? We can, we can out hate Trump. Trump once or twice said some things that were not hateful about gay people, trans people, etc. Let's pound them on it. Now, why is it ham handed? Because what is that? What are you doing? Why are you putting Brad Pitt in there and the <laughs> other guy and the masculine guys? Like, oh, he's so masculine. No, by the way, you're not allowed to do that about yourself. Like Trump takes fans who do that and they do it in an organic, authentic way, even though we think it's goofy, but they love it and Trump retweets them, right? I get that. This doesn't do it. This makes like the MAGA guys go, no, you're trying too hard. And it makes, if there are any moderate Republicans left, go, whoa. There's no subtlety here at all. You're not talking about affecting people's kids or whatever your excuse was. You're just bragging about how much you hate gay people. Yeah, that's what he's doing. I mean, it is an interesting experiment, right? Because if hating the LGBTQ community is what motivates and galvanizes the Republican base the most, it'll be tested in the way the two campaigns are positioning themselves. Because Trump, you know, look, he's a little all over the place, but one consistent thing I've noticed with him in this election cycle, so far at least, is that he's kind of going back to his best hits in 2016, you know, the economic populist stuff. And, you know, DeSantis very clearly has centered his campaign on the anti woke, anti LGBTQ stuff. So we'll see if that in any way moves the needle among Republican voters. But as we speak, and a new story just came out today, DeSantis is flailing. There was an admission by his campaign that he is the clear underdog in this race. And so we'll see what happens. But that ad was released at the beginning of the weekend, just last Friday. And all I've really seen 
scene is all sorts of people across the political spectrum dunking on him for it. Yeah, look, but I don't think it's a test of whether the Republican base is anti-gay or they love gay people. Oh, they're offended by this ad. Some of them might be, but that's a minority. I think that it's the ham-handed way that he's did it that's actually annoying them. They're like, oh, so you're comparing yourself to Brad Pitt and gladiators and macho guys. And you're telling me that Trump doesn't hate gay people enough? No, I know Trump, he hates gay people. Uh, that's I think that's the impression I get of MAGA's reaction to that ad. No, so that's I hear why you. it's not working. No, no, I hear you, but I'm going outside of just this one ad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. DeSantis, all he's got is the anti woke stuff. Yes, that's Whereas right. with Trump, there's more going on there. And so we'll see how it all plays out. Well, and it's complicated because Trump is also their messiah, right? And so it's hard for yeah. one of the apostles to be the prophet, right? Uh, but uh, you're right, Trump is not focusing just on woke stuff. He's going back to his, uh, the economic issues, etc. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think that that's the more of a winning combination politically, especially obviously on the right wing side, right? Now, what are the log cabin Republicans saying? <laughs> they say- Just please stop. They're basically throwing the trans community under the bus and saying like, no, but you guys like gay people, right? Conservatives understand that we need to protect our kids, preserve women's sports, safeguard women's spaces and strengthen parental rights. But Ron DeSantis's extreme rhetoric goes, but Ron DeSantis's extreme rhetoric has just ventured into homophobic territory. Just? Yeah, I mean, look, it goes on. But the point here is, look, we'll throw trans people under the bus. But please love us when I think it's pretty clear that a subset, like a portion of Republicans certainly do not want to support you guys and they got to be real about that. I got news for you, when you're a collaborator, you don't get special exemption like, oh, we hate gay people except for the collaborators. No, it's never a good idea, but you keep tricking yourself. No, Republican Party really likes gay people. I mean, they're running it, their major candidates are all running bills, actions, policies, proposals, ads, saying how much they despise gay people. But I'm a log cabin Republican and I think gay people are treated fairly by the Republicans because I got more tax cuts because I'm a greedy son of a bitch. Just be honest. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.